I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction, here with your feeder flash for Wednesday, October the 9th, brought to you in part by Fescue EMT. Tall Fescue, a dream to grow, but for cattle it can be a nightmare. Until now, Fescue EMT is a new mineral defense with end of fight management technology, research proven and backed by the expertise of Cargill Animal Nutrition. It's uniquely designed to help defend cattle against the challenges of grazing endified infected fescue while improving growth and overall performance. Make sure your cattle are prepared for the threat. Learn more at fescueemt.com. A lot of news about China uh, going around on Monday and Tuesday there, but uh, China needs protein. They've lost reportedly about half of their hogs and they were huge or are huge uh, hog producers there, but that uh, African swine fever has really took a toll on their hog uh, herd. And uh, if, if they've lost as many hogs as we fear that they probably have, that's more hogs than we raise in the Western Hemisphere. So there's a big void there of protein, and, and they're not looking for, for the impossible to choke down Gainsburgers. They want real protein over there. Uh, to feed their people and, and uh, they're going to start taking in a lot of pork from different places around the world including the United States but we did find out uh, recently here the last day or so that China is set to import 4 million metric tons of beef next year that will be an 87 percent increase now who can give them that much beef it's got to either be Brazil or the United States because they're the only ones that are really armed with enough beef to do that. But, uh, but it's bold and, and uh, you know, to, uh, President Trump has been trying to work with China to get some of these things done right, uh, to get them to quit stealing so much of our intellectual technology and to start uh, being more fair on the trade. It's starting to come around, it's starting to work, and, uh, and, uh, and this uh, unfortunate uh, African swine fever outbreak has really uh, kind of, uh, in a roundabout way, helped uh, our proteins here in the United States. Uh, not to say that we're not going to get it someday, and, and we should all be on the uh, lookout for that. And, and I know these big uh, hog producers here, uh, they're, they're posting live hogs just trying to look for signs of it to try to stop it before it comes, and hopefully they can get it stopped. But I tell you what, that stuff is bad news. But it's going to help uh, our protein, uh, especially on hogs, but on cattle too. Let's look at the board on Tuesday, October live cattle futures down 7 cents, 108.17. But uh, most analysts will tell you that uh, it looked like your live cattle futures were going to be down pretty hard on Tuesday, but was lent support from the hogs. Uh, December was down 35 cents, which is not bad at 110.85. But your hogs, uh, uh, some of your contracts of hogs were sharply higher. December was up three dollars and fifteen cents. Uh, all that lent support to your live cattle contracts. Feeder cattle uh, uh, come back a little bit. October feeder cattle up thirty-two cents at one forty-two oh two. November up thirty-two cents at one forty-one and a quarter. Fat cattle trade has been non-existent on a direct basis uh, so far this week. Uh, with actually nothing reported in your five area feeding region. Uh, we look to an, an auction sale. Stockman's Livestock in Yankton, South Dakota had their fat cattle auction on Tuesday. 2,400 head of slaughter cattle all together there. Uh, most of your fat steers and heifers bring in from 106 to 114, but mostly 107 to 112 and a quarter. Uh, if you uh, listen to uh, yesterday's uh, visit. Uh, I did talk about Connor Fikes heifers coming out of North Dakota there. Uh, he sent those in there. Those two loads of heifers, uh, 88 head of them you see on Cattle Market Central, weighed 1326 at 107 and a quarter. Let's talk about your feeder cattle market, your real time index on Cattle Market Central late in the day on Tuesday at 143.82. And that was down 21 cents uh, compared to Monday's close. But uh, you look at some of your big sales. Ozarks Regional Stockyards, West Plains, Missouri, 3,900 head. That's a pretty good size sale, guys. 
and uh, Dan Hill, my buddy, market reporter, he called it three to six bucks higher on all classes of steers and heifers. Spots as much as nine bucks higher. But uh, he did note, and, and we've been talking about it this week, especially we get into these big temperature swings, that the, the demand is light and the penalty is big for these ball and calves. And uh, it, he noted on there he had flagged the, the unweaned calves in the six weight category. $15 a hundred discount on ball and calves on the steers uh, there. And if that's not enough to behoove you to get in there and, and get your cattle worked and get them weaned, I don't know what would. But look at this big uh, string of yearlings here. Gardner Farms, 220 head of 922 pound yearling steers there bring 137.75. Those Gardner Farms are out of Arkansas. Uh, they, those cattle would have been 75% black, black baldy average flesh condition but a good way up as the cattle were fairly empty uh, and uh, come in with a fair way up. Uh, there'll be another four loads of those same cattle next week at Ozarks Regional Stockyard in West Plains, Missouri. Uh, let's talk about some other sales around Beaver County Stockyards, Beaver, Oklahoma. I tell you what, I'm so tickled to get them on uh, Cattle Market Central because I don't know how many of you guys, I know I wasn't really aware how many cattle are selling there, how well they're selling them there in the Oklahoma Panhandle. But 2,700 head plus there. Look at this uh, Cattle Market Central Market Report. It's the only place you'll see it uh, coming right from the block with real-time information. But look at the steers here on all these weights. 211 head of four weight steers in Beaver, Oklahoma, average 467 at 17014. Over 300 head of five weight steers, averaging just over 159. 219 head of six weight steers, average 626 at 14158. Now you start getting into some yearlings uh, smattering in there and actually have a higher weighted average. 252 head of seven weight steers, average 755 at 14462 and 378 head of eight weight steers. Beaver, Oklahoma, Beaver County Stockyards, they averaged 840 at 144 and a quarter. Phillip the Giant had a big sale on uh, Tuesday and they'll, they just are gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and it won't be many weeks we'll be talking about Phillip having 10, 12,000 head of cattle in a one day sale. But uh, around 5,000 head uh, this Tuesday, Phillip the Giant, and they are a DV Auction customer. You can watch them on uh, dvauction.com every Tuesday. You can view and bid right there. Talking to a friend of mine uh, in Nebraska, and he got three or four loads bought on, online there. Uh, saved him a lot from having to go all the way up there and get them, and was real comfortable with the cattle after he got them bought. But uh, look at this market report there. Uh, th over a thousand head of five weight steers in Phillip average 544 at 153.07 on the average. 800 head of six weight steers average 638 at 147.44. And similar to Beaver, you look when you get up into those yearling weights, they actually bring more than the lighter weight calves. You look uh, just 161 head of eight weight steers there averaged 875 at 15170. Why? Because they had two square loads of steers uh, 122 head of them. They weighed 888 and 896. Both of them bring 152 dollars, and that'll definitely pull up your weighted average price. Look at some lightweight calves. How about winter livestock auction, Riverton, Wyoming? 217 head of 510 pound steer calves bring 170 dollars in Riverton, Wyoming. And uh, your best quote for the day comes again from Denny Rezac Livestock Commission, St. Mary's, Kansas. 64 head of 822 pound steers bring 158 bucks. And that's your feeder flash for Wednesday.